watching the Go Crying to Walk In podcast. I'm sorry, let me start over. You're watching the Go Crying to Walk In podcast. I'm Chef Cholo, and you already know. As usual, we are powered by Hospitality News Magazine and Hospitality News Magazine Online. If you want to put your finger on the source of everything hospitality, look no further. Today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to try something new on the Chef Cholo podcast. We're going to be going remote to the Jacob Javits Center in Manhattan, where today is the New York Restaurant Show. In a couple of minutes, we're going to get on the line. My man Kurt from One Event Tech. This is a system that we have at Crest Hollow. It monitors your refrigeration, and it does a lot of really cool stuff. So without any further ado, let's bring on my man, Kurt. Abe, you got him? Good afternoon. Hey, Kurt. How you doing, pal? Doing great. Thanks for the opportunity. All right, brother. So first, I just want to thank you because uh, we've been using this uh, system here at Crest Hollow for quite a while. And... Uh, since my re my walk-ins are so old <laughs> that uh, I get many alerts, sir, many, many alerts. So I can tell everybody that this thing really works. So why don't you give us a little bit more in depth about what this system does for, uh, you know, not just for restaurants, but any type of industry that would rely on refrigeration or constant refrigeration. You bet. So at One Event Technologies, we are all about learning normal and telling you when it's not. The other, our logo is predict, alert, prevent. And by that, we always, we wanna prevent problems from happening, from happening, not being reactive to like, oh my gosh, I lost all this product. We wanna be able to tell customers that that cooler is no longer working properly. You should have it serviced by ProTech or some of your service companies in order to make sure that you don't have to lose product and, and peace of mind. So. Um, with the service comes, uh, it's a cellular gateway, so IT people love it uh, because they don't have to worry about Wi-Fi passwords, so it's very simple and easy to use. It's uh, wireless, so it can talk to the sensors wirelessly in your refrigerators or freezers. Um, and with that, every three minutes you can get a data point, and, and data is powerful, right? If uh, you have actionable data, you should uh, be able to make sure that uh, you don't lose product and that you're running your equipment at peak efficiencies. So, so to make this more for a layman, for a guy that's like a chef or so he understands the power. I mean, this, this piece of software is like reading the equipment, the valves and the electronical parts. And the minute something starts not working correctly, maybe the refrigeration isn't down at this point, but it, the computer can see that it's not running right. At that point, it alerts people? Yes, and you can get alerts in one of three ways, through a text notification, push, or an email, or any combination of the above. And you can have as many users as you'd like. And you can also, that way, when the, when the uh, text comes in, you can react to it, such as, you know, the cooler's warmer than normal, or the, it's a hit, hit the upper threshold make sure you do something about it. We also use door open and close, which is a big part of our algorithms that say, we know the door's closed and the cooler's warming up, that if that's warming up, then you should probably have it serviced because it's a, a very uh, good indicator that there is a problem. The other part about door sensors <laughs> is it keeps your employees uh, from just leaving doors open for hours, which also makes your cooler run harder. Hey, it's your boy, Chef Cholo from the Go Crying to Walk In podcast. And if you're like me, you yearn for that old school relationship between purveyors and chefs. Nowadays, they got me going on a website, looking up my own orders, placing my own orders. I don't even know if the thing's going to get delivered the next day. I got nobody to talk to. If you're looking for that old school service with aggressive pricing, look no further than American Food Connection. What you do is you call the number at the bottom of the screen, you ask for Danny, 
and you get it straight, you already know. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one because, like, at Crest Hollow, I see they have a bungee cord attached to the walk-in door. And then uh, they attach that to something else. So they pull the carts in and out of the walk-in. It makes things a lot easier. But then again, they forgot to take the bungee cord off and the door stays open. Amen. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I, I know some of the uh, technician, technicians out in the field love it because it gives them data to help know, understand that cooler and what's going on with it also. So when, a, so when a guy gets a call, oh, you know, my cooler's down, he can then look into the history of what's been happening for the last couple of weeks, I guess, and have a better idea how to troubleshoot. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that is one option. Absolutely. So, Kurt, are yep. you trying it really to... Goes back to... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kurt. <laughs> It goes back to the owner making sure that, you know, they're they're keeping an eye on it so that they don't lose product and really have a great quality product that they're giving their customers. So what you're in doing is you're ensuring that no one cries in the walk-in. Is that right, Kurt? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you follow it, if you listen to the data, it all should, uh, we don't want to not notify you unless there's a problem. So uh, now if everything's running smooth. Now, the first thing I would, I would want to ask is, like, are you a software guy? I mean, what would, what would push somebody to do this? <laughs> um, no, no, not at all. I uh, had, a, had a, a dream and I uh, thought we could uh, make things better. So um, I heard some really smart software people. So, yeah, we have a, an excellent team of support. Uh, one thing we hear from our customers is how... We have just the best customer support, and uh, we listen to our customers. If they have needs, we we try to help them in every way. You guys use social media to, like, promote your product? We do. Um, we're also, we're, you know, we work with Hospitality News also, but uh, it, it's, uh, we do. We have uh, uh, a great website where you can learn everything you want at oneeventtech.com, and uh, you can go on and you can see testimonials from People, managers at Ruth Chris Steakhouse, to, uh, to lunch ladies, to hospital administrators, all the above. So you weren't even a restaurant guy. You just came up with this idea. <laughs> that is correct. Yep. So now we're I, proud to I say love we it. have. I, I'm not, I hate to pry, Kurt. I just want to know. Yeah. No, I, um, I was a real estate developer for a while, um, but uh Put a really good team together, and, and now we have 35 patents around learning normal, whether it's water, gases, uh, temperatures, obviously temperatures in refrigerators. Any Anything in the future for one tech? Anything new that way you want to tell everybody about? Oh, we got some great stuff coming. I um, can't share too much, but it is, uh, I think, it's a game changer in the industry uh, where we become very very predictive on everything that's going on with that cooler wow really including yeah yeah so i heard so. i heard you were a guest of my brother ed daniels at the hospitality bowl at crust hollow did you have a good time that was an amazing time uh one of the nicest events it was uh just great people and uh it was good for a good cause you know uh, yeah. learning more about cancer yeah, definitely. That's uh, F cancer, right? F cancer, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Well, Kurt, thanks for taking some time out of the show and being on the Go Crying to Walk In podcast. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe when you get back to Missouri, we could maybe do something, uh, you know, on a video call and get that beautiful face of yours up on the screen. <laughs> That's a radio. It's radio face. Ah, uh, no, it, it, look, look, looking, looking forward to uh, another call and learning more and, and uh, sharing what we're doing out there with the, uh, with the refrigeration market. All right, Kurt. Well, thank you again so much. And uh, like I said, you're listening to the Go Crying the Walk-In podcast. I'm Chef Cholo, and you already know.